With just three home games left, the Charleston Battery is getting ready to wrap up another popular season. Here to share more is Scott Kronitsky. He is the team's head of community and he is joining us with all the details on what's to come and a reflection on what has been a fantastic season. It's been really, really exciting. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so tell us a little bit more about uh, just how this season has gone. You say it's your inaugural season at Patriots Point. That's a big deal. Yeah, last year was a bit of a, uh, a strange season given everything that yes. was going on and really having to be, you know, not playing to fans for a lot of the season. So it's been really great to welcome fans for a full season uh, to the new experience of Patriots Point. And uh, thankfully, I think they're really, really enjoying it. It's been a great energy in the stadium. And we've really tried to make it a party before the game, too. So we've been bringing local bands and live music before every game. We've got local favorites, Coastal Crust, Home Team Barbecue and their great wings. And of course, the co-op slinging their frosé, and uh, it's been really, really fun at the stadium. Well, it's not just about going to see a match anymore. It's about the whole experience and also getting interest from the young ones. You want to start seeing the new up and coming crop of talent, right? There's nothing that makes me happier with like, there's so many five to 10 year olds running around yeah. and even older ball kids that are out there. We actually built a little mini turf kids pitch, oh. which is bonkers during game days. It's really, really fun. We've yeah. got some counselors that are there making sure, you know, order is in place, yeah. but it's fun because mom and dad can have a nice beverage, watch the game. Kids are playing soccer on the kids pitch and right. uh, it makes for a nice, a nice family day out. And, and again, like I said, it's just been so popular and you've got one or two games that are almost sold out. So it would behoove you to get your tickets now because it could sell out very quickly. Tell us a little bit about what the season was like leading up to this point. Yeah, I mean, so we started in May this year. Next year will be a March through October season. This one started in May. And uh, again, with the players not playing the fans last year, it was so exciting for them to have a new supporter section behind the goal. It's really something. So, you know, it's a different experience if you're a player scoring a goal and you can really celebrate with the fans. We've got a cannon now at the stadium that goes off when oh, we wow. score. Uh, Danny McBride actually fired it off for one he of our recent not. games. He was our cannon you captain got, for the night. We've been trying to get Danny McBride on this program. He's, he's, a, he's a big Charleston Battery fan now, so we're pretty excited oh, about that. Oh, well, then that. I think we know where to find him. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah. No. Not, not a bad <laughs> spot wonderful. for it. That's fantastic. And it's hard to believe we've only got three home matches left. And yeah. uh, this Sunday at 2 p.m p.m. is our next one and uh, it's MUSC night and uh, yeah we're already sold out of a few sections and it's great it's going to be an afternoon fall day uh, we're playing Hartford Athletic which is always a great match so we're really really excited. That's great uh, let's talk about just the rest of your uh, games coming up October uh, 30th. Yeah October 20th and, 20th and 30th. And 30th. Yeah, so uh, this is MUSC night, October 20th. Yeah. We're actually gonna do a pink out in the stadium for breast cancer awareness. Uh, it's something that hits home for a lot of us. Um, so we're really excited to raise funds for this Real Men Wear Pink campaign that the American Cancer Society is putting on. So that's on the 20th. We wanna pink out the stadium. Uh, and then on October 30th, last game of the regular season, which will be our Hispanic Heritage Night. Uh, DJ Luigi's coming out. It's gonna be a really fun time and uh, excited to end the season strong at Patriots Point. Most definitely. And so once that match has had, you've got a few months, you start back up March That's and right. you're back at it. Start back up in March, uh, full season again. And, Will you uh, be doing recruitments during that time? Yeah, training? it's a great question. We're going to be really busy during the off season. So we're actually expanding the stadium. So it will then be on a 5,000 person capacity. So we're adding more than a thousand seats wow. uh, and some really cool experiences that we'll be able to share with the public soon. Um, so we're definitely not sitting still here. We're excited to continue growing with the community support Clearly, yeah. and uh, make next year the best year yet. Scott, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. Head out to Patriots Point, Charleston Battery. We'll see you back here in two minutes.